want to give you a brief overview of what a packaged rooftop unit or commonly called an RTU consists of. They can be on the roof, they can also be on the ground ducted into the building or ducted into the side wall of the building. Uh, on the roof uh, we've got a couple of small packaged RTUs up here. This is a project we just recently finished about a month ago. Uh, these are a little bit bigger configuration units and you can see they are ducted off the front and into the side wall of the building. So let's start with the smaller packaged RTUs. Uh, they have an economizer and filter section where the air comes up from the building or from outside. This offers ventilation air while the system is running and if it's cool enough to bring all the air from outside to cool the building, uh, the economizer takes care of regulating discharge air temperature for that. We have the electrical power section over here, indoor blower motor mounted here. This is the control section with what's basically the brains of this unit. Uh, as you can see in the back, there's the evaporator coil. Air is drawn by the blower across the evaporator coil. This unit has right there a fixed orifice metering device with distributor tubes for the refrigerant flowing into the evaporator. We have a heating section here. Fans blowing into the heating section across the heat exchanger, which you can't see in this view, but there is a control board ignition module for the heating section. There's an inducer fan, draft fan there, and a gas valve with a set of burners in the bottom. We have the compressor here, condenser fan and condenser coil uh, for the balance of the refrigeration system to remove the heat from the building. Uh, air blows through and back downstairs. The bigger system it's typically all the same components, again, all packaged in one unit. This unit is what we call horizontal discharge. It's ducted horizontally off the front of the unit. And we have the intake air hood here. We have a relief damper here to relieve excess air pressure from the building. The economizer section on this one's a little bit larger. Outdoor air dampers, return air dampers, filter section. We have the evaporator coil. Again, this unit draws air through the evaporator coil. This unit's a little bit different. We have two thermostatic expansion valves. This system has two cooling systems in it. And they're mechanical metering devices as opposed to the fixed orifices we saw in the other unit. We have a variable frequency motor drive on this unit. It helps to uh, decrease a little bit of wear and tear on the motor by starting it slowly, decreases the inrush current by starting it slowly, and uh, we can actually control the speed of the motor so that we get the right discharge air temperatures, uh, difference in temperature across the piece of equipment. Again, this blower blows through a heat exchanger that's mounted behind the heating section here. This heating section is two-stage. We have an inducer fan. We actually have two ignition modules in this unit, two separate gas valves and two burner sections on the bottom. Control and power section are in here. There's what uh, they, we refer to on this one as the brains of the unit. That's uh, York Johnson Controls Simplicity Control. And then we also have two separate condenser coils on it, one for each refrigeration system, two separate condenser fans and both compressors are mounted over here. So we've insulated this ductwork on the exterior with foam board insulation and coated it with a weather resistant um, coating to keep it from rusting, keep it from leaking. So that's a basic overview of what we've discussed as a packaged rooftop or RTU.